Welcome back. It's that time of the month. We're doing Thalassophobia content again. But first, I'm in a different room. I moved. I told you I was gonna do it, but don't worry. Some people were alarmed when I said I might not have room for the uh, Keep Calm poster. I've got room. In addition to all my usual background stuff, I'll put it up. I just wanted to do this video first because I have to get, I have to do a lot before I can do that. Today, the background's gonna be a little plain, but uh, what are you doing looking at the background? Huh, weirdo? We're gonna look at Thalassophobia content. Uh, we're gonna look at the last month's worth of posts on the Thalassophobia subreddit. This is our monthly series we do every month. This is our monthly series we do every month, once a month, just in case any of you have brain damage. Before we jump into it, I wanted to say one thing, and I'm saying this to you that way I feel like more inclined to actually do it, because if I tell you, then I feel like I have to follow through, and that is in the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be at Lake Tahoe. If you don't know what Lake Tahoe is, it's a big lake in California that's quite deep and just a giant lake. I'm gonna be there and I'm thinking of doing some form of video in the water, on the water, around the water. I wanna do something outside soon. I've been wanting to do it for a little while. I'm not gonna go diving, but keep your eyes peeled for a out in the wild at the lake you know, maybe I'll take a boat out, maybe I'll just go swimming in the water, maybe I'll take paddle boards out or something. I don't know yet, but I'm determined to actually do a video that involves actual water. <laughs> so, today we're gonna look at it, but within the next month, we're gonna touch it, okay? All right, let's jump into this. People are like, we know less about the deep ocean than the moon. Good, have you seen what's down there? It's terrifying. We should know as little about it as possible. The entire reason to go to space is to get farther from the ocean. I mean, scary, I guess, but I don't know. This feels like pretty melodramatic, even for me. Even for me. The entire reason to go to space is not to get further from the ocean, but I respect the sentiment. As far as getting away from things go, I feel like space has a higher possibility of containing things that would one day destroy us than the ocean. You know, I'm not worried about getting invaded by ocean creatures, but... Aliens? Who knows, man? Oh, I've seen this one. Are you afraid of deep water? Yes. Well, right now, below me, it's 310 meters of cold, dark water. This is Loch Mora in the Highlands of Scotland. The deepest loch Is in he the just out there by himself? The deepest water in the whole of the UK. It's a two minute video. I'm just gonna skip to where he goes underwater. But what does 310 meters of deep, dark, cold water look like? Oh gee. Oh. Well, have a look. Can't wait to find out. My guy's just out there by himself. 310 meters. That's like a thousand feet or something. Bro. He's just out there by himself with a camera. He talks for two whole minutes before even looking down, which means for two whole minutes, this is just, I mean, the whole time he's in the water, this is below him. Yuck. But nice of him to give us a little, like, geography lesson while hovering over the abyss. Bro, why you gotta add music to your videos? Sheesh. Ooh. What is this? Oh, it's just, it's just a boat, but the fisheye lens makes it look super weird. Yikes. Yeah, shipwrecks are a special kind of sketchy, you know? Passing way too close to an enormous rock in the middle of the ocean. God, Titanic 2.0. Oh my God. Yeah, we hit a big old one. Oh my. We hit some icebergs. We hit some ice. We hit some ice. Oh ice. my God. Oh, they actually did oh hit it. Oh my God. Come here, come on. Whoa. Oh my. It up. Wow. It broke apart and Dang, they actually hit it. I guess we've improved boat technology since the Titanic, huh? Probably a good thing. Why did the title say it was a rock? Does the person who titled it think that rocks float like that? <laughs> That's ice, my guy. Dang, remember when the Titanic hit that giant floating rock? Like, what was it doing out there? Exploring a wreck. Dude, it's so much boat stuff today. Exploring a wreck and suddenly, dot, dot, dot. Suddenly what? Oh. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Yikes. I was getting freaked out by this. That's just another diver. Bro. I always wonder if it's as murky in person as it is on a video because cameras don't always pick things up as well as they look you know like you ever tried taking a picture or a video of the moon that's a little bit different of course but this guy is like what 10 feet 15 feet away and it's like you can barely even tell it's a guy until he gets a little closer and then this giant thing snuck up on them they were surprised this was there that just adds to the horror of it dude oh it's the jet ski one i've seen this This guy's so stupid, dude. He thinks he can just go close and look at it, but then he starts getting pulled in, which is what happens. Oh, he tried to touch it. That's right. Dude, so freaking stupid, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. See, that was genuine fear. He, I truly believe this dude thought he was gonna die during this whole section. Cause look, so in case you haven't seen this before or um, you weren't paying, you know, you, you didn't see it, but he goes up close to it cause he wants to touch it, right? Stupidest plan in the world because this is, ship is giant and you will get sucked under. So he gets close to it. But when he reaches off, the uh, key thing is attached to his wrist. I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's the key to the the jet ski is attached to his wrist. It's so that the jet ski like won't go off without you kind of thing. So if you fall off, it stops. So when he reaches over, to make matters worse, when he reaches over to touch the boat, the key gets unattached, which shuts off the jet ski. So he's now getting sucked under a giant ship, trying to plug it in, which he successfully does, but by that point it's too late and he's facing it. Honestly, I'm surprised he got out of this. Dude, freakiest video that did not need to exist. It's funny because like he does the stupidest thing and then he gets it, then he makes it so much worse for himself. Like it'd be one thing if he got so close and was like, oh shoot, this thing's like sucking me under and then it's like zoomed away. But he managed to reach out with his left arm and unplug the key from the <laughs> jet ski, which made it like 10 times worse. It's like just too many stupid things in a row. But you know what? I'm glad he survived. I guarantee he will never do that again. Yikes. Dude, it's so dark. How deep is this water? Are we gonna see? No? Probably for the best. This is when water looks the creepiest, when it's like cloud cover and like looks stormy. It's like, once you look under the water, it's like such a dark blue, it might as well be black. Despicable. Raining? Eh. Turtle, their murky depths below. Oh my gosh. What am I looking at? Is that an anaconda? Oh, the turtle. The turtle represents me. It's just like manatees, right? Is that what they are? Yeah. Watch the turtle again, though. He's like, um, no. <laughs> Even the turtle has thalassophobia. Sheesh. Oh, yeah. Classic. Oh, how intimidating is this? Yes. Dude. Uh, the big old dog. Water snakes. That's so big. That is so sick. Woo. See you later, bud. Yes. Woo. Okay, a little bit cool, right? Because it's a snake. I don't mind snakes. I, I got a fear of the water. I don't got a fear of snakes. Snakes are cool. It's a little creepy as it comes towards him, but once he speaks Australian to the snake and the snake goes away and is like, oh. Come on, mate. It makes me wonder why all snakes aren't swimming snakes. Like, look how well it swims. Why aren't all snakes water snakes? Or are they? They just don't like it, maybe. I don't know, man. I work on a commercial submarine. Um. Um, what?
What is this? Go back in the submarine, my friend. This is so ominous. Dude, I can't tell. Is it sitting on the ground? No, it's not. There's just a hell of fish down there. Bro. No, it is. In this shot, it is. It's beached. I didn't know you could do that. This video is wild. This feels surreal. This feels like it's from a movie or like a video game. This is like Soma or like Bioshock. Honestly, such a cool view that I, as creepy as it is to me, I gotta appreciate that. This is such a unique view. And all these windows, the, the design of the submarine he works on is honestly really cool. You gotta appreciate the cool ones, you know? I've seen this one before. Just having your morning coffee, standing in two feet of water on a boat. You have to have that sort of relationship with the sea in order to do that kind of stuff where you just are kind of numb to it. You're like, whatever, this is happening. There's no way out, so just make the most of it. Is this AI art? Yes, it is. I've seen a ton of, for those who don't know, I've done multiple, I think I've done four AI art videos, not water related. We do do some water related prompts but we've done quite a few ai art videos which i love doing they're probably my least popular content as far as people watching them but i've seen a ton of ai art videos like blowing up on tiktok recently so maybe i was just too early to the trend and now it's time to do it for real so i'm gonna do another one really soon maybe next video even and just see if maybe now there's an audience for it because i love i love it creepy though what was the prompt just thalassophobia cool POV, you're diving in 400 meters off an oil rig and a shape appears from the Merc. Oh. Wow. I've heard of people listening to whale sounds as like a like a relaxation, like sleep noises type thing. My hot take, and of course I'm a little biased here, but I find them pretty creepy. The video, of course, adds to the creepiness of it where he hears it and then turns around. It's that like tornado warning sound effect that they use for like Siren Head. It sounds like that. Imagine you're way out in the ocean, kind of creeped out already just with the vastness of everything around you and you're, you've got a job to do, so you're doing it. And then you hear this. <sighs> like, it's a whale, you're fine. But like, bro, that would scare the crap out of me <laughs> easily. The crap would be scared. Some sea monster Cthulhu looking art, pretty cool. Very highly detailed, holy smokes. This is a real image? I thought this was a piece of artwork. This photo was taken in the Philippines. This guy was free diving with just a mask. I was lucky enough to catch him coming up through a bait ball. Wow, wow. You can almost forget these are fish. It just looks like some sort of swirl of like energy. This is fish, this is fish. Something fishy about this, <laughs> am I right, fellas? Bro, that's crazy. How many fish do you think that is? 100, 200? <laughs> A billion? Okay, what am I looking at here? Turkey, thousands of shards of broken up ice on the surface. Why you gotta put music on everything? Yo, that's cool. It looks like glass. That's crazy. This looks like, it's like a planet that they'd go to in like a sci-fi movie. I wouldn't want to be in there. Uh oh, yuck, dude. Fallen trees in the lake. It's funny how trees and tree branches are like the least scary thing ever above water. It's a tree. What do you mean scared of a tree? And then it's underwater. And then I'm like, holy smokes, dude. <laughs> Look at how freaky this looks. Right there. I mean, it's even shaped like a freaky hand. Imagine this happening in front of you. No, thanks. I don't think I will. Seven Mile Bridge in Florida. I get massive anxiety thinking about driving on this. Seven mile bridge? And it looks like it just goes out to like a pile of rocks. <laughs> What's out there? 
This is a fisheye lens, right? <laughs> this isn't how small the earth is, right? Proof the earth is round? I wanna see like a non fisheye lens though, because I feel like I can't really tell like, does it end right there? And then how big is this? You figure whatever the bridge goes to has to be worth it for you to build a seven mile bridge and then wanna drive across it. What's out there, huh? Disney World? From bog to lake, pure nightmare fuel. <laughs> holy, holy smokes, my guy. Walking on land. Completely sinking in. Looks like it stops right there. Still though, never trust a bog. That's what I always say. Here's a classic, abandoned flooded mine shaft. No, thank you. Imagine going in there though. I would say there's no reason to do this, but the kind of things that we've seen here together that people have done for no real reason, other than just human curiosity, I guess. I'll bet you anything someone has or will take diving gear into this mine shaft. Vile. Here we go, here's a classic. Airplanes, sunken airplanes are freaky as all get out. Flooded stairway and abandoned mine. Bro, come on. This is cool as hell actually, what the? I would never go in there. It looks so like neat. The water's so clear, it almost looks like it's not underwater. That's hella cool, I like that one. The dark blue looming behind this drop off. Music? Yep, always. Yikes, look how dark it gets, like, immediately. What was that, huh? What's this? Tentacle? What's this? Claws of a nearby demon? Tendrils of Cthulhu? POV of a scary blackout I had the other day while freediving, I had a 1 in 1,000 chance of surviving? What do you mean blackout? Like, a, you blacked out? I'm still a little confused. I guess we'll find out. Whoa. Dude, this is so freaky. What the? Oh no! This is the blackout. Oh no! Wow! That's a freaky video. Okay, what, so what actually happened? I don't remember it going black. I started feeling dizzy and then felt like I was dreaming for a few minutes and then woke up on the surface coughing out water. So he was potentially blacked out for the whole video, right? No, not necessarily. He said he felt like he was dreaming for a few minutes. That doesn't mean it was actually a few minutes. It seems like when he was on his way up, he blacked out and then kind of like popped up and then went down and then popped up again. That's freaking crazy, dude. Well, I'm glad he survived. These really long ones, these POV, like two minute ones where you really like feel like you're there because they're like so unedited and raw. Oh, <sighs> getting my heart rate up, man. I'm about to have a blackout into the dark. Oh no. No. Cargo ship snaps in half in typhoon winds as 27 crew feared dead. A cargo ship snapped in half? Who's to say we're not all gonna snap in half at any second? Okay, last one. Extreme low light night dive. Look at look at this look at this first frame here. I don't know if this is gonna be a good time. You night diving in a haunted forest? What is this place? This vines? Could you not have gotten a, a flashlight with a little bit of a wider beam? This is like just asking to get jump scared by like 
anything. If you know you're going to go night diving, they have like wide beam flashlights or like floodlights, you know? Floodlight, that makes sense. It's like going through pitch black darkness, being able to see like six inches at a time. Have you ever watched any horror movie ever? Okay, that's going to do it, I think. Here's a picture of under some ice. I don't know. Oh, just rocks. And on that note, we end. It feels super weird looking at this screen because this looks wrong. But pretty soon, background's gonna look even better than it did before because I got more wall space now. Hopefully the audio's okay because it feels echoey in here. I might have to fix that somehow. It's gonna be a little different. But hopefully you're having just as much fun as before. Um, thanks for watching. Like I said, AI art probably next and then potentially touching the water in the next couple weeks. And then the usual fun times in between. So thanks for checking out my channel. I appreciate you. I also appreciate everyone that's been messaging me on Instagram and Discord. I don't always get back to you. I'm sorry. I always see them. I get a lot of messages. I get like probably, sometimes I get like 10 in a day and I'll see them all at once. And so I don't, I can't respond to all of them. But I do like when people send me stuff because lots of the times it's ones I haven't seen before or like I've had multiple people that are divers or know a diver like send me like their dives. So maybe we'll do a video of just like dives and do a compilation of all that. I got so much water content because you guys are dumping it on me as well. <laughs> and I appreciate that. I don't know. It's kind of nice. Um, yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>